Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday afternoon, about a uh, little after 5.30. This is your video number 372, and it's the closing comment. Um, I forgot to mention something first thing this morning, and that was Kodak. Uh, the government has suspended their loan until they get it straightened out as to uh, what took place within the company. Uh, the stock, which traded from under $5 to over $60, uh, closed today 10.46 down 4.42 or 30%. And certainly, I'm not even sure it deserves to be trading there. Okay, so uh, today we had a strong day in the Dow. And in the transports, the Dow was up 358 or 1.3%. Uh, the NASDAQ is taking a bit of a rest. It was down 42.62 or four tenths of a percent, but it had been down uh, almost 200 during the day. So that came back. Uh, the S&P spent the day between down 15 and up 15 and closed up 919 or roughly a quarter of a percent. Uh, the Russell did a little bit better, uh, up 1549 or 1%. But the big winner again today was the uh, Dow Jones Transports up 288.56 for 2.73%, which was massive. Uh, the leader there was FedEx getting an upgrade uh, from um, perform to outperform. Uh, and on Friday, it was up 11. Today, it was up 16.45, up to uh, right around 200. And um, UPS, which over the last eight days has gone from 120 to 160 had a match matching gain. So uh, they were both uh, pretty big movers today. Uh, Apple was the only one of the uh, big NASDAQ growth stocks that was up on the day. Uh, it got a new high street uh, price objective from Wedbush at 515 and the stock closed 45091 up 646 or one and a half percent excuse me uh, we also had a big mixture of up and down so I'll go right through them uh, the company I mentioned this morning MCRB uh, which has a drug for uh, colon infections. Um, the point there is that uh, infections in the colon often turn to sepsis. And uh, so uh, this stock, which closed a little over $4 uh, on uh, Friday and this morning, I told you it was trading at about uh, 18 up almost 13 and change, managed to close 2270 after trading as high as 33. Uh, it closed uh, 2270 up 1806 or 390%, a major winner. Um, uh, Rocket Mortgage, which came out uh, last week on Thursday and was priced at the low end of the range and then started the day down. It came at 18, traded down to 17 and a half, and then has had a move straight up over uh, Thursday and Friday with a high of 26.85, closed today 21.67 and that was down 13% or $3.23. Uh, DraftKings continues to get hurt on the lack of sporting events going forward. It closed 3161 down 248 or seven and a quarter percent. Uh, Angie, A-N-G-I, which is the old Angie's list and has gone from uh, basically $4 in March to a high of seventeen oh five closed today uh, at, uh, let's see, 14, 
44 down a dollar seven or 6.9 percent um, its parent company is uh, IAC and IAC also took a 12 percent stake today in MGM and pushed that one up to 2165 up 262 or 13.8 percent uh, in the commodity area, we had uh, oil up 72 cents at 41.94. We had the gold up as high as 2060, closing down at 20.39, up 11.70, but still uh, well off the high and much closer to the low. Bitcoin was up 440 to 12,015 with a high of 12,220. And the dollar here, as I've been discussing, looks like it's really trying here. Uh, it got a little bit of help from the bond market with bonds being down and yields being up. Uh, that helps the dollar. Uh, there was an interview uh, this afternoon actually just shortly before I came on with the founder of Nikola and uh, the stock which was as high as 93 and change almost 94 and down as low as 29 uh, had a nice little bounce today closed 44.81 up 809 or 22 percent um, What's interesting about this is that they're going to be manufacturing garbage trucks. Um, and to listen to the founder talk about it, he talks about how Republic, the company that they have the deal with, uh, is used to getting their trucks that are made in three separate from three separate manufacturers, uh, someone for the chassis, someone for the cab, and someone for the compactor. And his explanation of why uh, they won the contract was based on the fact that uh, they were going to be a one-stop shop. So I find it kind of hard to understand how a company that does not have a facility that is not making the semis themselves, but having a contract seller would be able to be a one-stop shop for garbage trucks. Um, that would imply that they were going to start up doing all of the manufacturing. Anyway, uh, not something that I'm particularly impressed with. I wrote a piece in the weekly letter when the stock was 60 and Tesla was 1100 saying uh, long Tesla and short Nikola, uh, which seemed to work out pretty well. Okay, uh, just want to just touch base here on the market internals on the New York. We were two and a half to one up. And on the NASDAQ, we were five to three up, even though the NASDAQ was down. Um, uh, in the Dow, we had 23 up and seven down. And remarkably, Apple was not the leader. Boeing was the leader, adding 64 points. Caterpillar ordered um, added 49 and Apple came in third up 44 Dow points. Uh, volume was substantially lighter. Okay everyone, uh, I'll be back first thing in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe and to like us. Have a good evening.